Advanced Takedown Tree Stands presents The Hunting Grounds. Also brought to you by Eagle Seed, Four Wheel Concept, Nose Jammer, Dirt Nap Gear, Spy Point, Bow Tech, Cross Country Camo, Hook Line Sinker Outdoors, Shea Bug Designs, Tradition Game Calls, Jato Gear, Popeyes of Northwest Arkansas, Turkey Fam. Well, welcome back to the Hunting Grounds. I told you guys we we're going to bring you semi live episodes, and you can't get any more semi live than this. We're just a couple of days away from releasing the episode. We're out planting food plots, we're recording it, and we're going to bring it to you today, which is two days ago for you guys that are watching right now. But we've been exceptionally busy trying to get everything ready for turkey season gets here. I'm actually going on a youth hunt this weekend. We took the truck wrap off a couple days ago, and within a few weeks, we're going to have a stellar truck wrap put on the truck from Thornton Graphics. So I did come out of this food plot about a week, week and a half ago, cultivated the top portion of this food plot, put all the winter wheat and the eagle seed soybean, pretty much stems that were left on it because the deer had eaten all the pods, and broke them back up, put them back down in the soil, and the soil looks great. But what I'm doing today is I've come back in here, chopped up the top portion of that soil again just to make sure it's going to eliminate any of that competition of those grasses that were left over. And I'm going to spread a chicory and clover mix on top of this. We're expected some rain tomorrow so it's going to be perfect. We've got the soft worked up soil, we've got the seeds on top and with a little bit of rain it's going to bury those seeds just enough to get good soil seed contact. But what I've done on this food plot is I've slightly expanded the eastern side of it because that's where the eagle seed soybeans did the best. But on the western side of it is where I planted my chicory clover mix. But now that half the food plot is planted, we're going to leave the other half of the food plot for the eagle seed soybeans and make sure all the conditions are right for planting those. We're going to make sure the soil temperature is at least 60 degrees and I'm crazy enough to wait until we get a good rain and I'll be out here planting until sometimes after dark making sure I get a good rain on freshly planted seeds. But before wrapping up the day, we're going to quickly head down to another smaller food plot that didn't burn off quite as well as this because it didn't have as many leaves in it. And so there's still a lot of winter wheat in there, but we're going to go ahead and broadcast chicory and clover mix directly over top. But we'll make sure to brush hog it. That way the winter wheat doesn't grow up too tall and choke out the clover or chicory. And eventually as summer gets here, the warmer temperatures, that winter wheat's going to die off and the clover and chicory are for sure going to take over that plot. Well that's it for this week's episode, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you're following us on all our social sites because I told you that we're going to be bringing you semi-live turkey hunts almost every single week throughout the turkey season and if you aren't following us on Facebook, on Instagram, Vimeo, YouTube, you're going to be missing out on all the videos that we're putting out throughout the week. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, go everywhere to get a youth or a new hunter involved in the outdoors and as always, have a better than average day. But what we've done on this food plot, we've sight. But we've. Blah, 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 blah. But what we've done on this food plot is we've slightly. Yeah, I can't talk.